welcome back to another one of my videos. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the new Glow Recipe Papaya Enzyme Cleansing Balm. It is a makeup remover. It's supposed to leave your skin pretty smooth. This is their newest product to Glow Recipe and I am very excited because I've been wanting to try a new cleansing balm. Right now, I use the Pond's Cold Cream Makeup Remover. Lately, I have been doing the job. It does off my makeup pretty good. The only thing that I don't like is that it is pretty thick and it leaves you like a greasy, like a lotion um, feeling on your skin. And obviously, you just wipe that off with like a wet cloth and then you use another cleanser and wash your face. It's not bad. I feel like it's an extra step to, you know, your cleansing. So I have been trying to look for something similar to the Estee Lauder cleansing balm because that's what I used to use before the ponds and it was one of my absolute favorite items to use. It didn't leave like that oily uh, texture after but the only thing is that the Estee Lauder was retailing for $55, which I thought it was too much. I did buy it twice because I did really enjoy using it. But then it got to a point where I'm like, okay, I cannot be spending $55 on a makeup remover. So um, I just kept using the ponds and I found out that Glow Recipe came out with this new one. And this one was uh, retailing for $32. And I did use a coupon. I think it was like a 20% off. And then it's free shipping when you uh, spend $20. So I got free shipping and I got 20% off. So I thought that was pretty good compared to spending $55. But Glow Recipe has been one of my favorite brands so far. I feel like their ingredients are pretty natural. Go ahead and open this one up. I really, really, really hope that this works like the Estee Lauder one. So this is what it looks like. It's like glass. The color is really cute. So let's see how it smells. I was so tempted to open it and smell it, but I haven't done so yet. Papaya is one of my favorite, favorite fruits, uh, especially to add like tahini on it. It's just the best thing ever. It doesn't have a strong smell to it but it does come with like a little scooper and I did go on their website and try to figure out like how to use it. It says scoop a generous amount on dry skin. Gently massage formula with dry hands and circular motions for up to one minute focusing on areas that have more makeup. Splash with lukewarm water to rinse. Keep your cleansing balm in a dry place and stay away from water. So I do like to use two cleansers after using the makeup remover. I like to go in with a second cleanser to just make sure I have everything off. And Glow Recipe recommends to use their blueberry foam cleansing, which I am really tempted to try as well, but I didn't order that one with this one. So I'm just going to use my regular um, Cetaphil cleanser after this one and see how that goes. Let's go ahead and try it out. I am wearing lashes, so I'm going to take my lashes off. I don't know how much to use. I think I'm just going to use the regular size that I use with the Pond's one. Just about that much. Just a little bit more. Like that much. And I'm just gonna put it on my fingers. And oh, I think that was a lot actually. There's that. I'm gonna start with my eyes because that's where I have most of my makeup. It feels super soft. The smell is not strong at all, which I really enjoy. You can definitely smell the papaya, but it's not strong. 
I think I used a little bit too much. Yeah, I think I used more than what I should have. But I love how it feels. It feels, it doesn't feel thick like the uh, Pond's one. And I honestly can't remember what the Estee Lauder one felt like. I just remember loving that one. Wow, so I think it did take up all my makeup. Can you guys see like, it's not dark. Like usually it's dark under my eyes. I had shade in my eyebrows as well. I had concealer, I had eyeshadow, and my eyeliner. Let me go ahead and rinse it. Okay, so I haven't even cleaned my face with um, a towel or anything, but it works pretty good. It did not leave that like lotion thick feeling on my skin. It came right out with water and I know the Pond's one doesn't like you have to get a like a towel and wipe it off and then cleanse again. I haven't even cleansed it and I feel like I don't have to, but oh my God, I absolutely love it. And my skin just feels really soft. I'm gonna go ahead and just cleanse and I'm gonna use the Cetaphil Daily Face Cleanser. Okay. That was my second cleanse. I don't know if you guys can tell a difference or not, but my skin feels really good. And I absolutely love this new cleansing balm. Mm. I definitely recommend it. If you guys are looking into it or you guys were thinking about buying it but didn't know, I definitely would just go ahead and purchase it. I cannot wait to keep using it. And I think I'm done with the cons. This one is pretty good. So yeah, guys, I'm going to end this vlog here. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you have any other questions, comment down below. And I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you, guys. Bye.